Hello everybody, how are you? A beautiful day in Los Angeles. The spring weather has returned. Uh, most people think it's going to go away <laughs> uh, before it comes back. So I don't, I don't know if you call this pre-spring or what's going on there. But I am happy to be back. We have had a few, a little bit of delay. Well, for one, I'm doing a lot of TikTok. For that's for one reason. And uh, check me out over there at TikTok, Joe underscore Ditzel. Uh, however, the other delay has been the constant uh, dealing with all the ramifications of the coronavirus, which there always seems to be some new thing that I have to handle so uh that's been the delay in the videos over here on youtube and specifically in our city series so this video is the introduction of a new city that should have been done on monday but hey we're here we're doing it we're in the clutch we're doing the work and it's gonna be da -da 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 Wichita, Kansas. Now, if you're outside the United States, you're saying, where? <laughs> Kansas is in the middle of the United States. Wichita is in the middle, somewhat more or less, of Kansas. And in fact, is the largest city in the state of Kansas. All right, it's the county seat of Sedgwick County. And there's more than 390,000 people that live in this area, guys. <laughs> but if you look at the entire area, it's much bigger. Well, uh, close to 700,000 people if you look at the greater area and, and all of the far-flung communities of Wichita. So in this video, we're just going to not really take a lot of time, but we're just going to give you the quick thumbnail sketch of what Wichita is all about and then what we're going to talk about in the coming few days. Uh, we might extend it into next week because we got delayed this week, but I'll make that decision. I'll make that decision and don't worry about it. So <laughs> don't you worry, don't you worry about it, okay? Let me let me drive the car. Let me drive the car. Why are you backseat driving? Okay, guys, Wichita is on the Arkansas River. All right, and uh, you you say, well, it should be the Kansas River. Well, look, rivers flow through many areas, through many states, and then in this case, they decided to put it on the Arkansas River. First of all, the people that started Wichita were fans of Arkansas. So they didn't mind that there was a river running through their city that was from another state. It didn't bother them at all, okay? Uh, it began as a trading post in the Wild West days. If you're a fan of Western movies and the, and the American Wild West, well, here you go. This was it, <laughs> okay, Wichita. Uh, famous for a song by a famous singer named Glenn Campbell, a song called Wichita Lineman. Okay, referring to those uh, usually guys, sometimes girls, that get up on the telephone poles and fix the lines. So in the old days, you could talk on the telephone to your sweetie. <laughs> now, you don't need them poles. We got other poles. But uh, those poles are... <laughs> we got other towers, cell towers. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's the that's what we're talking about. Wichita linemen. You might, uh, if you're in England, if you're in Australia, or other points outside the country, you might be familiar with that song. If you're of a certain age, uh, of course, the cattle drives that ran a lot of times from Texas all the way up to Kansas and into Nebraska and into um, farther up, you know, the Dakotas. Uh, a lot of the times they were heading for Wichita. And the reason being is that a lot of times they would uh, sell the cattle there. The cattle would either, well, a lot of times would get on uh, railroad cars and head, head out east 
for uh, consumption on the Northeast, where a lot of the population of the United States still was, it is today, but at that time, probably proportionally was a much larger part of the country. So that's where the peoples were that they could sell stuff to. All right, but, but that's why a lot of times people will refer to Wichita both uh, lovingly and not so lovingly as a cow town, as cow town, cow town, Kansas. But the thing about it is a lot of towns are cow towns. I've lived in some cow towns. Uh, now, there's a history of aircraft and uh, air, airplane um, building and, and manufacturing in Wichita. Uh, different companies that have been there include uh, Stearman Aircraft, Cessna, Beechcraft, you had uh, Cardboard Airlines that was there for a while. You had Balsa, Balsa Board Air. You had uh, Gummy Bear Air. And for a while, they had some um, licorice, red and green, red, uh, red and black licorice air was uh, were also from the area. Not, not, not all those companies are still there. But for uh, you know, much like uh, other cities that have an airline or air airplane uh, history. It became a capital of it. It became a um, one of the premier cities in the airline industry. Uh, let's see. So um, it's got the Air Force Base. You got the uh, McConnell Air Force Base there. You got the uh, Stuyvesant Navy Base there. You've got the uh, Tough as Nails um, Green Beret Base there. Green, Green Berets have a base. The uh, Coast Guard has a base in Wichita, the uh, inland, the coasty inland base, they call it. The Dwight D. Eisenhower National Airport is the biggest airport in Kansas. And the reason being that they have, they have uh, probably the most flights coming in and out of there every day, up, up to 20 uh, to 21 flights a day now coming in and out of that airport. And that's more than any place in Kansas. I mean, most airports in Kansas, they get about a flight a week. Okay, and the whole town goes out to the airfield, and they stand around with pots and pans, and when the plan lands, lands, did I say lanes? When the, <laughs> when the plane lanes, all the, all the townspeople uh, bang the pots and pans together. And that's for one uh, reason. There's two couple reasons. One, to applaud the plane, to give appreciation for people visiting their town in in Kansas, bringing bringing goods and services and and uh, mail, but also to clear the cattle off of the uh, off the landing strip. And that's a pretty common thing throughout Kansas. Not not in Wichita. In Wichita, they have uh, union workers that do that. At the airport, uh, but you know Wichita gets a lot of ribbing. It's a cow town and all that. But guys, they've got everything you've got. They've got uh, media, they radio, TV, movies. There's a culture there. They've got museums. They've got. I think they've got my. They might have an uh, what do they call it? An orchestra. I think we'll we'll find out. Hey, I'm learning it with you, man. You think I prepare these videos? <laughs> There's no preparation. What are you kidding? Who has that kind of time? Uh, theaters, they've got the um, the old Cowtown Museum is a big favorite. Now, a couple of the things you can see in the old Cowtown Museum is the original cast members of that show, Lonesome Dove, which was a famous miniseries that talked about the cattle drive days. Uh, the original cast uh, still lives inside the Cowtown Museum. So that's that's fun because not only can you find out more about that miniseries, which is legendary in many people's eyes, as big as some of the biggest movie releases, or bigger. Uh, but then you can talk individually, which each of the cast members, well, those that are still alive, uh, and they live right there in the old Cowtown Museum. Let's see, they've got the uh, Performing Arts and Convention Center. That's, that's always good, because a lot of times they'll have a cultural event um, alongside the rodeo. So the rodeo will be, they take the family to the, here's the idea. You take the family to the rodeo and in doing so at the same time, if they have a classical music concert, 
they're exposing people that may not normally go to see that kind of music concert at the rodeo. So this has been such a hit that even sometimes the members of the orchestra will get out onto the rodeo grounds and try to buck a bronc or try to lasso a cattle head or try to tie up a calf. And so you've got bassoon players, you've got that guy, that girl that plays the triangle and goes ting. You've got woodwinds. And even the conductor of the orchestra is known to get out there onto the um, rodeo grounds as a rodeo clown. And he puts on a red red uh, hair like Ronald McDonald. He runs around and he makes make sure that the if a cowboy gets bucked, that the big old the big old bronc he doesn't come around and pierce him with his uh, horn uh, right through the heart because uh, that that's not good for the kids. Okay, so that is just the thumbnail sketch that of the town that we're that we're talking about, Wichita, Kansas. Right? I mean, you've heard the the word heartland. The heartland. This is it. You've got the middle of the beating heart of the heartland. This is not the left ventricle or the right ventricle or any other part of the heart. Okay, this isn't some kind of fake heart. This isn't a Jarvik heart. This is the real beating heart of the country. If you want to talk to a real American... The, the, the very center of it all, not bi-coastal, not southern coast, not northern border. We're talking about the very middle of the country. Then Wichita is as good a candidate as any. I'm sure there's other cities that fit that. But Wichita is what we think of when we think of, of the real America, Okay. And so it'll be fun to find out more about this great city, as we will over the next few days, talking about its culture, its media, its people, its history, which is very interesting. Uh, we touched a little bit about uh, on it, the music, the uh, business and um, commerce, climate. What's going on? I mean, what, what are they doing? How are they handling it? How are they handling the... Uh, Corona, all right, all the different things that uh, are current and up up to the minute. Because you, so many of these tourism videos or history videos uh, on YouTube or in otherwise or vlogs or blogs, or whatever, they kind of come in and they take a surface look at it. Whereas I talk to the people. I talk to the people of Wichita. That's how I get my information, Okay. Uh, I get down into the nooks and crannies, I, to the streets and uh, avenues. Talk to the people on the street. What's going on? What's happening? How are you doing? What do you need? Can I get you a Mars bar? These kind of questions. Okay. So that's what's different about my videos, at least the travel and history videos on uh, this channel. Of course, there's all kinds of crazy videos on this channel. Um, and so, yeah, come on back. And we'll talk about Wichita, Kansas. See you then.